Hello everyone. So this video is for those pharmacists who have already qualified CAPS exam and PTE and now want to submit application for the provisional registration as a pharmacist to APRA. APRA is Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency. So in this video, I will explain all those steps that how you will submit application to APRA, what are the documents which are required and what will be the fee for that. Okay, so let me share screen with you. So now I will explain all the steps one by one okay so the first step is that you will apply for the international criminal history check okay and the fee for this step is 160 AUD 160 Australian dollars okay so you will simply write ICHC in the Google you will create an account okay and you will pay the fee 160 Australian dollars okay and after one or two days they will send you a reference page okay and from that reference page you will write reference number in the APRO 60 form, okay? So that's why we apply for the international criminal history check because we need reference number in the APRO 60 form, okay? Uh, when you will download the APRO 60 form, okay? So fill that form and sign it, okay? So yeah. Page second, you will put your name and date of birth. Uh, this is very easy, okay? And then you will uh, write uh, what is your uh, birth and uh, personal details, okay? So this is also very easy. You can fill this form. And section B, proof of the identity, okay? So you can also fill this page second. And then section C is also needed, which is contact information, okay? and after that, section D, it is also needed. So you can also fill this section D, qualification and eligibility for provision registration. Okay. And after that, uh, section E is also needed. So you will also fill section E in the APRO 60 form, registration history. Okay. So section F is also needed. Okay. So you can also fill this one, section G, okay? So do you have any criminal history in Australia? So on this page, here in this table, you will write that reference number, ICHC reference number, okay? So yeah, after that, you will put your uh, PTE score, on this page, okay, our ILS score, our uh, OET, okay, so you will write from your PTE certificates, okay, and then after that, section H, okay, so this is just a declaration, so you will sign this form, okay, along with date. Now 26, question 26 and 27 and part B, supervise practice approval, okay? So there is no need to fill this section, uh, part B, supervise practice uh, approval, right? Uh, like section I, okay? Because if you have not applied for any internship position in Australia, okay? So then uh, there is no need to fill this uh, section, uh, I and section J, okay, and section section L, okay. There is no need to fill this one. And section M, okay. But if you have already applied for the intern pharmacist position in Australia, okay, and if you have job, then you will send these pages, okay, the last pages to your manager, okay and that manager will fill that these pages and uh, he will he or she will sign these pages okay and will send you back then you will merge with the apro 60 form and then you will upload to the opera okay and the last page is very very important so here this is the fee okay so almost 377 uh, aud australian dollars this is the fee okay so this is basically the apro 60 form so that is very, very important, okay? And you will upload it in the form of PDF. These documents are needed. National identity card, which should be notarized, 
passport, birth certificate, bachelor degree, bachelor transcript. Okay, and all these documents should be notarized. Home country registration certificate, registration certificate renewal, good standing certificate, and this good standing certificate should be sent by your home country pharmacy council. Okay, uh, through email, right? And also the hard copy of your good standing certificate to APRA. Okay, so this is very, very important step. Then you will also upload CV, okay, but in the format of APRA. And this format is available on the APRA website. Okay, so this is the link. So I will also put these all links in the description box of this video. So you can uh, click on that link and you can download it. Okay, then you will also upload CAPS exam certificate skills assessment outcome letter which is issued by the Australian Pharmacy Council, PTE certificate, original PTE certificate and also the notarized PTE certificate, police clearance certificate and so these are all the uh, documents uh, which uh, you will upload okay on the APRA website. Now uh, this point is very important that how you will certify your documents okay so you should write on all the documents, okay, which have no photo that I have cited the original document and certify this to be a true document, uh, to, to be a true copy of the original, okay? And then you will write the name, designation, contact number, sig signature of the authorized person and date. So you should write this sentence okay and these are details and all the documents which have no photo okay like your bachelor documents like your bachelor degree uh, your transcript okay if it have no photo like your caps exam certificate which have also no photo right but those documents which have photo like your uh, your identity card like your passport okay so documents like this then you will write that I certify that this is a true copy of the original and the photograph is a true likeness of the person, the person presenting the document and name, designation, contact number, signature of the authorized person date. So these all details will be mentioned on those documents which have photo, right? Like uh, passport, like identity card and the other documents, okay? And on your CV end page, you will write below details and you will sign it and then scan it and upload it right that the curriculum yt is true and correct is a dated okay so you will write the date and then you will write your name and then you will sign this c right so this is the whole procedure that how you will upload your documents and which documents are needed okay So let me summarize this whole process. So first you will apply for the ICHC, International Criminal History Check. You will pay the fee 160 Australian dollars. Then you will download APRO 60 form. You will fill that form. Okay, you will sign it. Okay, and then you will uh, upload all your documents uh, like uh, uh, your identity documents, your identity card, your birth certificate, your uh, passport, okay, and your bachelor documents like your degree, your category, uh, registration certificate, okay, and your transcript. And uh, then uh, your home country pharmacy council will send your good standing certificate to APRA, okay, uh, in email and as well as in hard copy, right? So then you will also upload your PTE certificate, but be careful that you will also upload your original PTE certificate along with this, you will also upload your notarized PTE certificate, okay? So these are all the documents and along with this, you will upload your police clearance certificate, okay? And your CV and be careful, okay? That you will sign your CV at the end page, okay? And you will write the date and your name and you should use the format of the APRA for your CV. Otherwise, they will not accept that CV, okay? So this is the whole process. If you have any question uh, in this uh, application process, so you can write in the comment section and I will answer to you. Thank you so much.